Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, how to quickly A-B plugins so you can make sure you're making the right decision. We've all been there before, we're in the middle of mixing or mastering, and we're just trying to make sure that what we're doing is helping us and not actually making any detriment to whatever project we're working on. Sometimes you may want to choose between one of two options. In this instance, we're actually going to be using some EQ, and you're just trying to figure out which one is more the sound you're going for. It's pretty easy to do, and we can make it happen with one button. So let's dive into the DAW and take a look at swapping our plugins. So here we are inside of our session and what we're gonna be doing is comparing two different EQs. Let's say we're mastering and I just wanna compare the sound of this EQ versus the sound of that EQ. Maybe my moves are relatively the same, but in this world that we live in, plugins all sound different, just like hardware all sounds different. Even two of the same unit can sound different. We're gonna be looking at the Plugin Alliance SPL PASIC or Passive EQ, and we're also gonna be using the Plugin Alliance AMEC EQ 200. If I wanna switch between these two, what I can do is come over, turn off the SPL, and turn on the AMEC, and then go back and forth. But when we do this, there's going to be a gap in that audio, and I want this to be as seamless as possible. I wanna click a button and instantly flip things over. So we can actually do this pretty easily inside Studio One. And it's not here, it's not on the main window, but you've probably stumbled across it before. And that's in the channel editor. Down here next to your fader is this little, it looks like a rotary knob and potentiometer or whatever you wanna call it. And this opens up the channel editor. Because I have the plugin window open right now, I don't even need to click on this because it's the same window. Up here on the top left is that same button. So here it is. It says macro controls up here, but it is the channel editor. And here is where we can do our macros. What we're gonna wanna do to do our quick AB is edit our controls here. And what we wanna do is with button number one, I want to turn the bypass on or off. So I'm gonna drag this in. I opened up the parameter and I want the bypass. Then what I'm gonna do is open up the AMEC and I'm also gonna find bypass. And I'm going down to the bottom because this is global bypass. You can see there's a bunch of them in here, but with this one you can go in and bypass different bands. I just want the global and that's the last option. Now there's one more thing that we need to do before we leave the editor. And that's up here next to, I'm gonna just use the AMEC 200 as our example here. And in this section to the right, you can actually click on it and invert the selection. So what this will do is if the plugin is on, when you hit the macro button, it will turn it off. It's the inverse of what you think you're doing. So if you think you're turning it off, it's actually turning it on. It's a little backwards, but it's just inverting. It's the opposite of what you think it's doing. And if we leave the SPL pass EQ normal, when we're turning the pass EQ off, we're gonna turn the AMEC 200 on. Now that we're done setting it up, I can close the control here. And now look, this first button is Bypass Plus. The way the state of our plugins right now is the SPL Pass EQ is currently on and the AMEC EQ 200 is now, I've hit the button myself, but it's in Bypass. If we go to the macro controls or the channel editor and we hit the first button, keep an eye on these two plugins right here. With one button, we've now flipped which plugin is active and which one is in bypass. So we don't have to have any gaps in our audio and we can critically listen to see which one is suiting the song better. So let's do that right now and you'll see how instantaneous it is. I'm gonna flip it back over. We're gonna start listening to the SPL Pass EQ. And I'm gonna pin this one here. I'm gonna switch over to have the AMEC 200 just underneath it. And the settings don't really matter right now. What we're showing is how we can flip back and forth. So I've opened up the macro controls by clicking on the button down next to the waveform symbol down here by our fader. And this just gives me a new window because I have the other windows pinned. 
Now when I hit play, I have my button available and I can flip flop between these two EQs. So we're gonna start with the pass EQ and then we're gonna hit one button, bypass that and turn on the AMEC 200. So yes, I have slightly different moves going on with my two different EQs, but one, I've also gain matched them so that I'm not getting any kind of volume bump and tricking my ears that one is better than the other. Yes, I can go in and I can match the EQ settings because the passive EQ is going to react a bit differently than the AMEC 200 will, but that's not their discussion right now. We have one button that is flipping between our plugins so we can make that quick and instant comparison of what we like better. And you can do this for all kinds of different things. You want to flip between maybe something like a 33609 compressor and an SSL G bus compressor. Okay, I very quickly have dialed in just a couple different mix bus compressors. I have a 33609 emulation from Arturia and then back with Plugin Alliance, I have the Brainworks Townhouse bus compressor. This is kind of your VCA SSL style bus compressor. We're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to open up the macro controls. I'm going to go up to the wrench and instead of button one, I'm going to change to button two because I have multiple buttons that I can use. We're going to do the same thing. The 33609, we just want on and off. That's the bypass within this plugin. And then we'll go to the townhouse compressor and we'll go bypass and we'll invert that one. So you saw it immediately changed the townhouse compressor and showed the same thing in our channel as well. Now we have two different buttons. We can compare both our EQs and our compressors and flip the order or how we have them going to see maybe the SSL passive EQ sounds better with the 33609 or Maybe that sounds better with the SSL style townhouse compressor, but the AMEX sounds better with the 33609. You can see how having this quick AB lets you dial in your sounds and your settings really fast and compare what is better and more suited for your song. So let's just go through it again real quick. You'll see with my compressors, I'm barely doing anything and I didn't even touch the EQs. So even with just one run through of this, I was able to change which EQs we were using and which compressor we were using. In the end, to my ear very quickly, I like the AMEC EQ200 going into the townhouse bus compressor. But I can very quickly and easily hit one button and swap again to maybe go with the 33609 emulation. You can see how this is extraordinarily powerful and will help speed up your decisions after you've dialed in your sound. That quick AB is what helps us move forward. We didn't even get into it today, but if you have a hardware controller like the fader port or even just a MIDI controller, you can also assign these buttons to a physical button on your control surface. That might have to be a video for another time, but we now know the steps needed to throw our plugins in here and have that quick swap without any gaps in our audio to invert the bypass of our plugins so we can hear what's going on and have them change places as we're listening. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For booking information, check out timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.